I'm Chris Howard from AWS at the DevOps Talks Conference in Melbourne, and I'm here with Julian Burton. Julian is a security engineer at Seek here in Melbourne as well. Um, and in his talk, he talked about lessons uh, gleaned over many years of dealing with security issues. And uh, one of the things we say at Amazon a lot is there's no compression algorithm for experience, uh, very much in line with your talk. When you bring new people into Seek, into your team, how do you make sure that they learn those lessons? How do you upscale them? So there's a few ways we do that. It's actually um, uh, a lot of the time we can actually uh, hire developers or use people that have already been inside the organization. Um, and we do that via a, something called a Security Champions Project, um, which incentivizes people who are really passionate and interested about security and to learn more to participate in certain events um, around the year that we put on for them. Um, so that's one way. The other way is by doing some training programs if we get new hires. Um, we do have a lot of like stock standard um, presentations that we run that get, get people up to speed with those learnings. Yeah. Oh, cool. And, and one thing from your talk that I found really interesting is uh, bug bounty programs. I've had a little bit of experience with those in my career. And to be honest, it's been a little bit mixed. And so I was just wondering what your advice is, because it sounds like you guys have cracked it. How do you really make the most out of a bug bounty program? Yeah, so that's an interesting question, because there's a lot of parts to that. Um, the first, I guess I'll start from the, the beginning, which is having the environment where you're happy to fix bugs if they come in in the first place. So you actually need to have an engineering environment that allows you to fix bugs quickly um, as they come in, because if they hang around for too long, um, and have the resources available. Uh, the other thing is um, having resources available to triage, which um, I think from your, what you said before is, is uh, difficult. So you can actually either pay someone external to help you with that, or you can actually do that um, in-house, depending on how you go. Uh, and getting the right incentives, so paying researchers what they should be paid um, will get a higher caliber of researchers. Um, and staying private, uh, invite only, so you only get the best researchers seems to be the, the best approach for that. Yeah, I don't think we did that. <laughs> if you want to learn more and, and hear some wonderful insights and see some really funny memes uh, from Julian's talk, just click below, and you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. Thanks so much.